Hey fam, thanks so much for coming back. So today I want to talk about ways to get what you want as the woman by giving him what he needs. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So before I go into this video, let me tell you about my three online courses, especially if you are new here. So the first one is for my super single women out there. You are trying to work on yourself. You're trying to understand what you want, who you are, what you deserve and desire from yourself first and then from your relationship. That course is going to help you absolutely work on yourself, love yourself, be more confident, understand exactly who you are, and be able to go out there and serve once you get back into the dating stage, okay? And so the second course stage, and you know that you need help just navigating through the dating stage. You are just sick into the hopes that everything will work out because it truly does not work that way. This is going to give you a blueprint on how to actually date while you are out there, and it's actually going to help you move forward and be able to block all of those men out there that don't want nothing that don't mean you no good and you will be able to understand and notice the men that are just wasting your time so you can move past them that much faster and then the third and final course is for you ladies out there that are in long-term relationships or marriages and you need to bring back some spice back into your relationship you need to help with those butterflies again coming back into your stomach and just being happy when they are around a little sad when they leave you miss them when they leave you're very happy when they return and so without further ado i have 11 ways on to on how you could get what you want by giving him what he needs the very first way to do that is to just give him his space when he needed booski <laughs> i know when we are in these relationships or a dating engagement whatever it is we want to be around our man around our boo but sometimes and we both need it, but in this video, we're talking about the men, right? So, space. You need to give him his me time to do whatever it is he needs to do. Even if it is him being in the house with you, but not saying a word to you because he is up. he's up in here. He's working on something up in here. And he just need his space, his quiet time. Maybe he's writing it down. Maybe he's typing it on the computer. And he's honed in on his me time or maybe he wants to just get away from it all play a little video game let him do that he doesn't necessarily need to talk you know what i mean he just want to be there doing his own thing or and of course if he wants to hang out with the guys let him go and do that get him recharged so when he comes back to you he can give you what you need which is the emotional charge that we women bring to the relationship okay the second way to do this is to help him feel more desired. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go and smack him on the butt. Y'all not be talking about the butt all the time, okay? But, you know, flirt with him a little bit. Kiss him on the neck. You know what I mean? We both sexes like to feel desired. We want to feel wanted, especially by our mates. I don't want... And I would feel bad if my husband would walk past me and never, like, give me a hug when I'm doing something. You know, I'm in my own world doing whatever. And he he don't give me a hug or a smack on the butt or just let me know, but baby, you're doing good or whatever it is. I want to know that I am desired and the men want to know it, too. They won't say it as much. But they want it just as much as we want it too. They want to know that you checking for them, that you feeling for them. And uh, you know, quiet as it's kept, they want you to initiate more too. They don't want to always be the ones who have to come to you to initiate the thing that we call SEX. Yes, sex. He wants you to initiate sometimes too. He don't want to always have to come to you to get the goods. He wants to know that you desire him as well the third way to do this is just to be a little bit old-fashioned honey just let him do what he does you are the damsel and in distress sometimes you need that that jug of water picked up don't pick it up ask him to do that you need the trash taken out don't do that ask him to take out the trash change the light bulb put some air in your tire fill up your gas tank just be a bit old-fashioned every now and again let him know that, yes, I can do it, but you're here, baby, so you do it for me. Blink, blink, blink. 
<laughs> the fourth way to get what you want from your man by giving him what he needs is to work on yourself. Now, I did a video not too long ago about the number one way to be successful in your relationship. This was the number one way to work on yourself. Of course, I'll link that video, especially for the guys and the ladies who would like to see that. Of course, down in the description box below. But yes, work on yourself. Don't make your relationship all about the guy. Sometimes you have to make the relationship all about yourself because you need to work on yourself to get to where you want to get to, whether it, uh, whatever goal that you're working on, whether it's the career, or maybe you're trying to change career, or maybe you're trying to go out on this vacation, or whatever your goal happens to be. Work on yourself. That way you are bringing that much more um, conversation to your relationship. And that way he can help you if you need help, like making a decision or just giving you his listening ear and he might be able to point out something that you never thought about, like a new point of view. The fifth way, okay, that's 10. The fifth way is to share your feelings and not your drama, sis. You share your drama with your girlfriends. Your men do not want to hear about the drama. Now, every once in a while, they will listen. But by and large, if this is your way to always share, 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 because you think that you're supposed to share everything that happens with you, with your girlfriends, with your coworkers, men don't really want to hear all that. They want to keep it short and sweet and to the point. So share more of your feelings versus the drama that you are a part of, have cause or not. You know, try to work all that stuff out by yourself or with your other girlfriends. Get their opinion. By and large, men don't want to be a part of the drama. But they want to hear about your feelings, though. But not necessarily the drama. Okay? Moving on. Uh, this one goes specifically to my believers out there, which is to cultivate a relationship with Christ. Um, I never hardly do this here, but I will read a Bible verse or two because um, I think that it is going to help us to understand exactly where I'm going with this. Okay. Okay. So this, this is Galatians 5, 22 through 23. And then I'm going to skip down to 25. So, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law. Now 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. I just think that we need to continue to cultivate our relationship with Christ. Again, that's for my believers. If you're not a believer, you can move on from that tip. Okay. Number seven, join him in doing some of the things that he loves to do. I mean, this is the thing that you, that you just don't want to do, right? You don't want to do it. But uh, you know, if you join in sometimes, then it will absolutely make his heart flutter more for you. Uh, actually, was talking to a young lady uh, about this said this this very topic and her husband loves to be in the in the garage working on their cars and she absolutely hates to be in there with him when he's doing that but when he when she does take it upon herself to go out there and just sit she's not really doing anything they might talk every once in a while but basically she just sitting there she might take her iPad or her phone out there to to play on it but she's just in his presence he absolutely loves it, and he's like, oh, my God, I love when you're out here with me. It makes a big difference in the way that he is feeling about her and for her, and absolutely she will be able to get what she wants by giving him what he needs. He wants her to join him in his ventures and what he's going to be doing, whether she wants to or not. Not necessarily every single time, but definitely times when he knows that she doesn't want to do it. Like... My husband likes to sit at the computer and watch movies. Me, I want to be on the couch watching a movie. Like, I don't want to sit at the computer. However, um, the other day when I sat down in the chair right next to him, he was like, oh, 
Oh, I like that. And I was like, what? Actually, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, well, what? What do you like? He said, you sat right next to me and watching the movie with me. So they like when we join in the things that they like to do. Now, all right, the eighth way to get what you want by giving him what he needs is to make him feel like the hero. They love to be our hero. As I mentioned, some of the things that you can make him feel like the hero, I mentioned earlier, like him taking out the trash, him screwing in the light bulb, him <laughs> filling up your gas tank or, or you know, Checking the tire in your, um, excuse me, checking the air in your tire. Make him feel like the hero. He will be happy. He gets to show off his bravado and his manliness. And you can get something that you want as well. Okay. <laughs> the ninth way, seriously, sis, is just to expect it. You are expecting to get what you want from your man. You just are. And it is going to happen because, again, you're giving him what he needs. So you're definitely going to get what you need at some point, okay? Number 10 is to do things that he wants to do. Like he might want you to play a video game with him, play the video game with him. He might want you to sit down and, you know, I don't know. Uh, listen to this CD with him, then do that or go for a run, go for a hike. You know, he might want to do something very active that you don't necessarily want to do. Go and do it with him anyway. Again, this does not have to be an every time thing. But if he knows that if he asks you sometime to go with him to do said thing, that you will actually go and do it, you will get what you want. You will. But sometimes you got to be in too. You got to give him what he wants too. Give him what he needs so you can get what you want. That's what this video is about, right? So sometimes you're not going to want to do what he wants you to do, and you just do it anyway, and that way you can get what you want later on. Number 11 <laughs> is to ask him for what you want. But guess what, ladies? You have to think about the timing. Don't ask him for what you want when you know he ticked off about something or super irritated. He's not in his happy-go-lucky, jovial mood. Don't ask him until he gets in that happy-go-lucky, jovial mood again. And then, you know, hey, baby, I've been thinking about going to this concert and I want you to take me to this concert. And this is the date. This is the time. Go ahead and buy the tickets. You get what you want by giving him what he needs. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought about this particular topic video all together. Of course, give me thumbs up if you like the video. Definitely think about subscribing if this is your very first time here. Or if you have been coming and have yet to hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face. Because here at I Love Me, Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So we together collectively can start to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. 